What's going on YouTube? Sismo1888 and unfortunately I'm making another video on this matter though because things are getting very uh, polluted, complex and more complex now that people, more people are getting involved and I'm just gonna kind of tell you a brief story of what it is. I knew that she was messing around and I knew that you know they had something going on and they went away for three weeks. They came back on the 20th around two o'clock in the morning she went her you know to our room and he slept on the other side i already knew they were fucking each other man i caught them the following day in the morning and you know he wasn't man enough to engage he was too too concerned about his well-being and we almost went to blows but he actually called the authorities on me he locked himself in the bathroom i explained that but the fact of the matter is now, though, that he's actually got someone involved. Now, I don't know this guy, okay? I never met him, and it never clicked to me. He says he's claiming to be his brother, okay? First of all, I mean, you got to look at the situation like this, that you can't expect to be comfortable while I'm still here. And you guys had the chance to get rid of me, but instead, they went the other way. So, I can hear them fucking in there. I go to the bathroom. It smells like semen. It smells bad. You know what I mean? Like, almost fucking gag. I'm like, oh my god. I was so disgusted. But anyways. So, I come in here and, you know, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed, bro, that this guy won't face me. Because, I, you know, if I try to engage or anything like that, you know, he will call the authorities on me. But... So therefore, I don't engage, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to be civil about it either when you guys are doing this, you know, disrespecting me, showing what kind of woman she is. She has no morals. She's simply, you know, a person that doesn't care about it. You know, she doesn't care about, you know, having morals and having respect for herself, mainly for herself, because I am posting these videos because this is the truth. So the guy is like right here, you know kind of sizing me up and you know this and that and blah 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 and he's like he he tried to kind of supposedly you know tell me about the law like first of all man i know the law because i've been there i fought cases before and i won four cases so far okay now as far as that goes you know what i mean he's like you know he he was i'm not gonna lie to you like the guy was nice you know what i mean he was nice in the sense though that he was explaining things but he's explaining things that that are completely irrelevant, though. He's taking his side. Now, you get an involved. I know who you are. You have a good job. And you are willing to lose all that stuff. Because, you know, if you're willing to go to blows with me for something that doesn't concern you, though, it, it just shows me that you are being blind by something that has absolutely nothing to do with you. Now, as far as that goes, I felt like I never felt threatened. I never felt anything other than confusion, in all honesty. Why? Because he was here. He was claiming to be his brother. First of all, his brothers live in Tennessee. And she's defending him and this and that. Like She has no, she has no respect for herself. How are you allowing that? But you left me for that. A person that cannot even defend himself and protect you he has to get the authorities involved he has to get someone else involved now first and foremost they used to live together here in town in sterling and he left and he moved in here and i gave him a place to live because i i know that sometimes you know being a roommate and all that stuff but as far as that goes man like why why they're getting involved for something he's not his brother i know who he is now and it just amazes me how, you know, all this misdirection is going around. And as far as that, he's like, well, I'm going to be in town and this and that. And I'm like, first of all, my beef is not with you, bro. <laughs> Second of all, if you're getting involved in something that doesn't concern you, it just, it's just, I, I'm confused about that. You know what I mean? And they're saying, well... <laughs> How he was saying that, oh, they're not comfortable here. Of course they're not comfortable here. Nobody is. And honestly, nobody is comfortable here because of what's happening. 
but she had the power to just give me the money and go because I want to get the hell out of here, man. I don't want to hear them, you know, doing their, you know, business in here. I'm here, bro. He wants to take what I have, and that makes so much sense now that there are, that we're, we're talking about the Delhi 7, man, and now I fully understand. I mean, that's fine. You want to do your thing, you know, whatever. My beef is not with you. My beef is not with this guy that just came in here not too long ago. My beef is with this guy that he's not, he's involving more people. And let me just make something very clear. When he was going through that, he had problems, you know, with the roommate and it's common, you know what I mean? So he stayed here. You know what I mean? And he's like, well, this guy, he's a, he, he wants to, didn't get along. They were friends for a while now. And he's like, well, I don't like him and this and that. He's trying to make me how he is and all this bullshit. And now he's calling for his help. And they know about it. And that's, that's, that's the kind of man she left me for. So I'm making this very clear because he was here. More and that's... So, you know what I mean? Like, it's just to show that he's a good friend. So why are you talking bad about him to begin with? You know what I mean? And it's like, that is to prove that you, he cannot fight his own battles. He has to call someone else to fight his battles for him. So I want to make that very clear, guys. Like, there's no battle here because never, you're not worth it. You see what I mean? Like, he's making comments right now, which, thank you, subscribe, okay? <laughs> And um, this is about that, though. It's like, yes, I'm not, I'm not comfortable here either, man. I'm, I'm very, very, very uncomfortable. I want to go. I'm waiting. So he calls a friend that he's actually, you, you know what? He should be very thankful that he has a friend that he's actually willing to lose everything. Because as far as I know, like... That's a good friend. He, he, he's picking up your battles for you and showing me how much of a milksop he really is. So that's M-I-L-K-S-O-P, okay? And it's a very, very powerful meaning word. You guys look it up. And as far as that goes, man, so this guy's over here, you know, trying to figure it out what's going on. And I'm just amazed. I really am because someone who is willing to lose everything for something that he has nothing to do with. And you see, they're uncomfortable. Of course they're uncomfortable because I'm here, bro. You cannot take or, or take away who I am. If somebody, if okay, let's just say this. If, if the tables were turned and I was taking somebody else, you know, ex-girlfriend, I would be like, hey man, like, What's going on here? You know what I mean?